These days, Blender is incredibly powerful, especially because they are adding features after features. While this is a good thing, it can be overwhelming for new Blender artists. There are hundreds of buttons, lots of different pie menus, context menus, different editors, workspaces, and more. To add to the confusion, sometimes you have to go through different workspaces and use different tools just to do one thing. But what if there was a better way, where everything is just easy, intuitive, and right there, one click away, one button away? What if there were tools that could sort out the menus, buttons, editors, combine them, and merge them into one button? Enter add-ons. Add-ons are meant to be the easier alternative to the convoluted workflow in Blender. But finding the right add-on among millions that have been published on Blender Market, Gumroad, GitHub, and other sites is as confusing as using Blender. So today I'm going to untangle the webs for you, show you the best add-ons available and what they are best at to help you make better renders in an easy and headache-free process. One thing you need to understand is that there are three main types of add-ons, tools, generators, and libraries. Let's look at tools first. Tools are add-ons that improve or build upon Blender's core functionality. These are add-ons that, that make things like modeling easier, UV editing fun, or simply bring operators and tools from other 3D applications into Blender. They can also sometimes combine two or more built-in tools to make one, so that you don't have to click several buttons to do something. The second category is generators. These are mostly procedural generators that specialize in a specific thing like generating roads, houses, cities, mountains, landscapes, bridges, rivers, and more. Then you have libraries. Libraries are a collection of 3D assets made by other artists that you can use in your projects. Think of cars, trees, vegetation, asset packs, and more. Nowadays, most add-ons are a mixture of the three. They are tools, generators, and libraries at the same time. But for the sake of simplicity, I will still separate them according to the mentioned categories. Tools. There are so many tools, so we are going to look at the best ones that you can use right away. The first tool is Zendoc. Blender has like 20 different editors, like the Shader Editor, UV Editor, Properties, Asset Browser, 3D View, Outliner, and more. You don't need to be seeing all of them at once when working, but when you need them, you want to access them quickly. Zendoc is a tool that lets you dock these editors in your viewport for easy access, and you can choose what to dock. There is a type of modeling in 3D called hard surface modeling. Look it up. If that's what you do or if that's what you want to do, don't try it without a tool like Box Cutter. Trust me. All other applications like Maya, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D have better UV tools than Blender. Uh, Zen UV just copies most of that functionality and brings it to Blender. If UV unwrapping has been stressing you, it's not you. It's Blender. Get Zen UV. Like I said, some tools just combine multiple buttons to create one button that does what all the others do in one go to save you time. Light Wrangler is that tool. You need a light to point somewhere? Just click the spot and the add-on will add the light, rotate it, and point it there. It also has other functions. You can see them on the download page, links in the description. 3ds Max has a great Retopo tool, Blender doesn't. Retopo Flow brings the same feature and adds its own twist, so you have a Retopo tool in Blender. Simple as that. RBD Lab. If you are breaking stuff, fracturing, or making rigid body simulations, RBD Lab is what you get. It handles the fracturing, destroying, simulation, and everything for VFX. I know I'm oversimplifying what it does, but we have a long list to cover. I admire the patience of anyone who rigs characters in Blender without an add-on. I would rather gouge my eyes out than attempt rigging anything without an add-on. That's why I love add-ons like AutoRig Pro. It does most of the work and all I have to do is move blue balls around. AutoRig Pro is the best-selling add-on on the market and for a good reason. You can rig any character by just dragging points to mark the joints of your mesh and click go to simplify a process that would take hundreds of steps and many, many hours. The next add-on we have is Blend Shop, and it reduces the number of editors you have to worry about by one. There are so many editors in Blender. Not all of them are necessary to learn or have. One of those is the Compositor. Don't get me wrong, if you're doing complicated compositing, you will need it. For everything else, Blend Shop creates a more compact form of the Compositor, the Compositor, that you can access in your viewport at any time. The next categories of add-ons we're going to look at are Generators. Within Generators, 
you will see generators that you can just drag and drop into your scene and generators that come with their own add-ons. The first add-on in our generators is the Physical Starlight and Atmosphere add-on. And what it does is in the name. You want a sky with animated clouds, sun, stars, fog, god rays, nighttime, cloudy, and all types of settings, sunset, dawn, noon. This is the tool to have. Blender comes with its own fluid simulator, but like many have found, it does not do shit. Flip Fluids, on the other hand, generates better fluids. It's faster, creates better splashes, bubbles, and the fluids are more realistic. True Terrain 5. The true power of generators can be seen in add-ons like True Terrain. You can create entire landscapes with mountains, trees, grass, rocks, cliffs, lakes, rivers, and more with just a single add-on. Our next add-on demonstrates the true difference between generators and add-ons. Unlike add-ons that are usually general purpose, generators do something specific, like this realistic internal damage. It's only good at one job, and boy, is it good. If you need to add damage to objects, this is what you pull out. You can add rebar, edge damage, internal structure, and more. Population. Human crowd simulation generators don't just generate meshes and static objects, they can also generate animation. Like this next add-on and generator called Population, this add-on can generate realistic crowds with animation, all within your viewport. It's also a library with a collection of animated characters, standing, seating, walking, working out, talking, and more. So if you don't want a crowd, you can just add individual animated characters in your scenes to make the scenes look more alive. Like I said in the beginning, generators are great at one specific thing. This next add-on, Geoswarm, can do what population does, but for insects, bugs, birds, and other creatures. It simulates swarms of animals and insects and is a library of different animals that have full animations. Our next generator, Procedural Alleys, can generate corridors, alleys, and streets. Detailed streets with shops, road curbs, pavements, sidewalks, streetlights, wires, buildings, and more. Everything is also procedural, so you have control over the look of your streets. Most artists think of HDRI as high dynamic range images that you throw in the background and forget about. But if you have a tool like HDRI Maker, you can make your HDRI feel more integrated into your environment. You can make them be part of the ground, walls, ceiling, and mix them with assets you have in your scene thanks to this add-on. Generators can be anything, and since most projects have different requirements, here is a collection of over 50 generators. You get this, and there's a chance you will always have a generator to use in any project you start. If you want micro details on your mesh, it can be a complicated process to do, but with this Simply Micro Mesh Generator and Add-on, it can be as easy as a push of a button, and you can even use your own micro meshes if you have them. Another generator and add-on I can't get over is Simply Cloth Pro. You can generate any type of cloth garment you want, from shirts, trousers, curtains, carpets, and more. It's also a library of cloth garments if you want something really quick. There are so many more amazing generators, but to keep this list short, we are going to end with the Auto Rig Ragdoll Wizard before we continue to the last category of Blender add-ons. This Ragdoll Wizard can generate a rig for any character and add physics to it so that your character can behave as a ragdoll. Libraries. This category is simple and straightforward. Making 3D assets is hard and takes a lot of time. You can't build the world by yourself in the real world, so why would you think it would be any different in the digital 3D world? Speaking of world building, let's look at Backscapes, which is a collection of 3D scanned cities, buildings, and neighborhoods you can just drag and drop into your scenes. This pack contains about 60 assets, including cities, islands, fields, swamps, and more. 
If you prefer handmade models, the Urbaniac Building Library is a pack of buildings, streets, roads, highways, industrial assets, and more, all hand-modeled with high-resolution textures and amazing detail for close-up shots. The next library is Procedural Building Generator. Yes, this is a generator and a library. It's a generator that can generate procedural buildings on any mesh, adding windows, roofs, doors, and all the needed detail. It's a library in that there are several styles and types of buildings you can choose from to generate. Stepping away from buildings, let's take to the sky with the Real Cloud VDB library, a collection of realistic clouds you can add to your skies. One complaint people usually make about VDB assets like these is that they are heavy and their computers cannot handle them. This is a settings issue, not an asset issue. Blender has a setting to reduce the volumetric subdivisions or increase them. More subdivisions require more powerful computers than lower. If your computer is struggling, just change your settings. Geoscatter 5.4. If you want trees, grass, vegetation, and more, Geoscatter is a library of various tree, vegetation, and grass species. It's also an add-on that makes it easy to scatter objects in a more coherent way. Sanctus Library. Procedural materials assets don't have to be meshes or objects, they can be other things like materials. Sanctus Library is the largest collection of procedural materials for Blender. It comes with smart masks and blending features to let you easily mix and blend shaders. Speaking of large libraries, Bot Botanic is up there with the largest collection of trees, plants, grass, vines, and everything you will ever need for creating landscapes. This is a special one for architects. Aquatique is a collection of water effects like fountains, puddles, waterfalls, rain, rivers, and more. Buildings Asset Pack is an asset pack that contains everything you will ever need for constructing buildings, city blocks, or an entire city all in one place. The pack includes 50 high-detailed buildings, but that's just a small part of its offering. With 162 modular assets, you can build any type of building in minutes. And that's it. It's a lot, but the great thing is you don't need everything. The full list is in the description. You can find what you need there. Thanks.